Let's see what coconut oil does to my blood sugar. So yesterday I drank three spoons of olive oil to show that it did not have an impact on blood sugar level. But I saw in the comments that many people say that coconut oil, however, has an impact on blood sugar because it's more saturated fat. I don't think so. It's true that saturated fat is not good for insulin resistance, but it doesn't mean that it spikes your blood sugar. Those are very different things. So I'm gonna eat three spoons of coconut oil on an empty stomach. I'm not really looking forward to it, but at least we'll know. Let's go. All right, it's now been exactly two hours since I ate my three spoons of coconut oil first thing in the morning. And let's now look at the glucose monitor to see the impact it had on my blood sugar. I must say, compared to olive oil, coconut oil is disgusting. Three spoons of olive oil was okay, but three spoons of coconut oil first thing in the morning was really hard feels heavy too. It's not a very healthy thing to do, huh, by the way. Uh, olive oil is mostly unsaturated fat, but coconut oil is a lot of saturated fat, so it's not as good. Arguable, there are many, many different things. We'll go in depth later. And also, thank you to all the people who took the metabolic test and were super happy with it. Thank you so much for your nice comments. It's really uh, helps me keep going, so that's, that's amazing. So for coconut oil, we can see that it did not spike my blood sugar at all. If anything, again, just the same as olive oil, it kind of just like reduced my blood sugar after a little while. So people who say that oil spikes blood sugar are pretty much wrong. Individual results will vary. Maybe there is someone out there who reacts to oil and it spikes blood sugar. Uh, I would love to see this, but for my test and the test that I've done with hundreds of my clients, I've never seen anyone have their blood sugar spike because of fat.